Introducing a Kong toy to a puppy or inexperienced dog. Just like for any other new thing, your puppy needs to learn how to enjoy a food toy. Introduced correctly, food toys can be very enriching for your dog's whole life. Introduced with too much difficulty, your puppy will quickly become frustrated, bored, or uninterested. This video shows the easiest Kongs possible so you can start your puppy out successfully. Choose a Kong big enough that there is no danger of your dog swallowing it. And remember, always supervise your dog with a food toy. Fill the Kong with loose kibble mixed with some bits of meat or cheese. We want puppy to learn that Kongs have really good stuff in them. But avoid moist things for now. See how easily it rolls out? That's what we want. Let your dog sniff the Kong, then put it on the ground. If some treats fall out as you put it down, so much the better. Hopefully your dog will nose the Kong and get more treats, then perhaps progress to rolling it with her foot as Cricket is doing. Try to help as little as possible. The idea is for your puppy to learn that she can make the food come out. Do this several times over the course of a few days. Once your puppy is confidently and quickly getting the kibble out, add the first little challenge. Soak some kibble in water for a few minutes before you put it in the Kong. Then fill the Kong loosely with this slightly soggy kibble and again some meat or cheese. When you introduce this new Kong, it will be harder for her to get everything out. Some kibble will stick to the insides of the Kong. Let her practice until she learns to get all or nearly all of the kibble out. The next step looks easy, but you may be surprised. One small dog biscuit dropped into a large Kong. I gave this to my more experienced dogs to see how they would do. Summer uses the bounce method. It took her from 15 to 40 seconds to get the dog biscuit out. Zany can slip her slim lower jaw partially into the Kong, and she usually breaks up the dog biscuit first, then rolls it out. It took her from 10 to 36 seconds. Clara the puppy doesn't have a consistent method yet, but note that her jaws are big and strong enough to squeeze the widest part of the Kong. It took her from 30 seconds to over a minute. My dogs worked steadily because of experience and past successes. Your inexperienced dog or puppy will probably need practice with the easier Kongs before you give her one with a dog biscuit. For the final beginner Kong, fill it about two-thirds full with dry kibble. Put it in a mug and fill the mug with water. The kibble will expand to fill the whole Kong solidly. Watch how difficult it is to get the kibble out when I drop the Kong repeatedly on the counter. If your dog's only method of getting stuff out of the Kong is to lick, be aware that she may press the kibble into the Kong such that it will never come out that way. Go back to the earlier Kongs so she can get more experience chewing, rolling, or dropping the Kong. In the future, you can introduce much more difficult Kongs using Kong crackers, frozen items, sticky items, and treats bound together with melted cheese. Giving your puppy a foundation of experience with the easier ones in this video will give her the skills to tackle and enjoy the difficult ones. Thanks for watching.